Welcome, in this video I show you guys my stay in Tenerife. Good morning! We are on our way to the airport. It's the middle of the night. It's like 3 o'clock. So we're driving there. And then our holiday can begin. Yes. I finally went on holiday after two years and it was so nice to get a little bit of sun since in Holland where I live it has been very rainy and I've been just like working for months and I really needed a break so it was very nice to be able to travel Tenerife is the biggest Canary island of Spain and it's located in the coast of Morocco and Sahara between there it's a volcanic island so it has a lot of mountains and there's a lot of green as well, it's beautiful nature and I heard it's very accessible so I wanted to experience that myself I want to show you guys the accessibility that I have experienced there and my stay at the hotel as well the accessible room at Sheraton La Caleta is a nice room, a spacious room and I had a wonderful stay there so I will show you guys a few clips of what the hotel looks like and what you can do. This is the Sheraton La Caleta Hotel. So this is the accessible room with a little hallway. I'll show you the bathroom first. So over here we have a sink for two, which is awesome. You can put your knees underneath, and wash your hands. Very convenient. Then we have a shower with a shower chair. Ooh, not sure how comfortable that's gonna be, but we have handles like to hold on to and well, everything you need. And then over here we have the toilet with a bidet. Stop on the toilet. Or yeah, maybe you you need toilet paper or something. Okay, so then we have a room with a king size bed or queen size. No, this is a queen size bed. And uh, this is where where we will be sleeping. Okay, we have a closet and a mini bar. Mini bar over here. Put something in the fridge, closet, hanging. I already put my shoes in. Nice. Okay. Another one, more space. Yes. So we can keep this room neat and clean. Then we have. That will be impossible. Very. Yes, probably. <laughs> 
Now we have a balcony. With a, well, a bit of the sea and a bit of the garden. And on this side you have the mountain view. Look how beautiful that is. And we have palm trees. Great. So everywhere you go, every hotel you go, the accessibility is like a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. I trust when hotels say they are accessible and I depend on their information. So it's not always clear. Uh, the websites often don't represent accessible rooms. So there are no photos or there's not a lot of information. In this case, um, there was like a small list checklist of what they had. So I just decided to book. And so it's quite a hassle, the planning to go somewhere as a disabled person, so for me I had a lot of m on my mind beforehand. It was quite stressful to um, organize everything, but in the end it was all worth it. Esto es la primer día en Tenerife. Estamos aquí con mi novia. 
Belinda Tigres. Dígame, muchacha, ¿qué hicimos hoy? Ok. Estábamos aquí comida, comiendo desayuno. Muy delicioso. So for me, it's always like a whole experience, like a little adventure, like what are you going to get? How accessible are the places you're going to visit? And especially when you're in a country you've never been before, it's, yeah, it's like you're, you're just going there and you'll figure it out. Um, so in this accessible room, I was very positive at the beginning when I entered, when I saw it. After two days I was a little less happy, but it had to do with my disability and um, the adaptations that I need. I know hotel rooms are not custom made for a person and their disability, so they're, there's an accessible room. It had an accessible bath, like it had spacious a bathroom with an accessible roll-in shower and the, the hotel plays like a shower chair, which is like a plastic chair, like in Europe it's very common, um, but these chairs are not very stable. So it was quite risky, I was afraid to fall off at times, so I prefer something that stick to a wall <laughs> and enough to hold on to and to lean against, like but that's my preference and also with the toilet seat the toilet seat was a little bit too low and the handles the grab rails where you hold on to normally they were a bit too far apart for me so i was sometimes i need both hands and then i'm just leaning against it almost falling off so for me it was not very comfortable but this is just about a few centimeters and it's the same story with the bed And then I had to lay down flat for, I think I actually did like almost two days, just laying on bed, just waiting for the bruise to recover and uh, just rub a lot of aloe vera, like the gel on it. And it was pretty boring. You know, um, on one hand, when you're on holiday, you want to enjoy your holiday, but um, in this case, it was just a little, little accident, I guess. I don't know exactly where it happened. Could have been in the bathroom. Could have been like near the swimming pool. But since I cannot feel and I cannot move my legs, um, I somehow bumped in something sharp and hurt myself. And when you're paralyzed, your skin heals very, very slow. And um, because you're sitting on your butt the whole day, you're, there's not enough blood flow, you know, like like healthy wise. So it was kind of a problem, but luckily it healed, and after that we could continue, you know, enjoying the holiday. But it was a little bump in the road. More about that in the next video.